Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this video, we are going to discuss a scenario based interview question and answer. Based on my experience, I will give you an answer. I hope that will be helpful. If you want more info or if you want to add your inputs, please feel free to add in, uh, you know, in the comment section. So the scenario based interview question for today's video is, you are a software tester, you are working on a banking application. You, let's say you are working on fund transfer feature. You have nearly 1000 in your available balance. Total amount is 1000 and you want to transfer 2000. You are able to transfer 2000. So which means you are able to transfer more than what is in your balance, which is a defect, right? You and me, both of us know that this is a defect. So now the question is, how will you tackle this situation? How will you raise this defect? What is your approach of handling such type of scenarios? When interviewer asks you this question, you can take a three seconds pause, think about it and then start explaining. I as a software tester, we go through the uh, steps one more time or two more times to feel confident that the bug is really occurring, first of all, right? If the bug is just happening for once, it may not be a bug, right? That is another scenario. We can talk about that later. But from your side as a tester, you will try to reproduce the defect two, three times. And if every time you are able to uh, transfer balance more than what is in your account balance, it's a bug. So I, we are using Jira as test management tool or whatever tool you are using, you can mention that tool. And we will uh, create a bug report where we will explain, uh, where we will explain what are the steps to reproduce and how much amount was there in the total balance, how much amount we tried to transfer and the expected outcome. So in this particular scenario, the expected outcome is you should not be able to transfer more than what is in your balance. But actual what is happening, you are able to transfer more than what is in your balance. You are able to transfer 2000, whereas in your account, it was only 1000. So it's a priority we will decide later, but it's a high severity bug. Why? Because it is the core feature of the application, right? It is impacting a lot of users. It is this impacting to the business. So a lot of users will be using this fund transfer feature. So this is definitely a high severity bug. Priority, if it is you know, if it is a high risk area, yes, which is you can set the priority as P1. But again, depending upon every inputs, you can change the priority to high. So that, that is again, depending upon your company format, upon your test process, if you are using P1, P2, P3, or if you are using high, medium, low. In that way, you can choose priority for this bug. Attach the screenshots and assign it to a developer. Then you will get a bug ID, correct? This is one way. Second approach you will immediately ping to developers mentioning the bug ID and if possible, copy the URL of the bug and send it in the chat and say, please, can you have a look at it? I have just raised a high priority bug. And that's it, right? So this is how you approach scenario based questions. I think based on your experience, you should be able to um, explain it properly to the interviewer that, you know, this is your approach. That is how you should uh, manage the defects if it happens and how do how you talk to developers. What is your method of, you know, communicating or approaching to developers? This is based on my experience. If you have anything more to that, you can please add in the comments and I will see you in the next video. P uh, please feel free to add more scenario based questions in the comment section so that me and us both can revise together and crack the interviews. All right, bye guys. I will see you in the next video. Until then, please take care of yourself. Bye.